Hello everyone, I'm Iron Phoenix and welcome to my industrial craft tutorial type thing. I've got a bit of a case of radiation sickness. So, today what we're going to be going through is mass fabrication. Instead of just being the uh, single block, it's now four blocks that you need in a specific pattern. We'll also be looking at um, reactors and also the plasma launcher the plasma launcher isn't currently in survival multiplayer or um, survival it's only you can only get it through creative at the moment but as it's in i may as well talk about it so let's dive in let's just do a brief thing on uh, reactors first of all so this is a reactor let me just pull up the basic reactor um here we go there we go, one reactor, and it looks like this. This is the new UI. Nothing's changed at all. These crosses, you can't put anything in them, you can put things in that. So, for each upgrade, you unlock one of these. And your upgrades are just put in, as normal, the reactor chambers on the side. It also displays your heat as a bar, and your EU rating. Uh, something to note, uh, the MOX reactor fuel will actually output more EU the hotter the reactor is. So it's meant to be five times EU for 100% heat reactor. Obviously that's going to cause a few other issues, you know, like the reaction running away from you and you basically ending, ending up with a massive crater. So you know obviously watch out for those sorts of things if you are doing using mox fuel in a built-up area and you have an accident you're gonna cause a lot of problems and uh, people may hate you for a while which is my why my own personal mox reactor testing facility on the uh, new turtle server is currently built underwater and I'm going to rig the entire ceiling with explosives so basically if the reaction runs away I can flood the facility it may help who knows so um, yeah that's that's the plan but I, I can't do anything until we get the new UI really because it shows the heat and the EU output so that's the reactor so the this is my reactor that looks like that this is what I'm going to be using to uh, power the mass fabrication it should work there's no reason why it shouldn't so we're outputting 180 EU into the uh, MFE which is over there and it's building up no heat and that's exactly what I want so around here what we have is a mass fabricator this is the mass fabricator it creates mass and it does it exactly the same way as before you add scrap and that helps uh, speed up yeah, that gives you the amplifier and it creates mass only it's a liquid now and this can be put into tanks or it can be put in directly to your replicator via the use of a fluid ejector upgrade and that puts your mass into the replicator now the replicator actually makes things now so instead of getting your little mass globules that you put together in a particular pattern you now need to scan items in using your scanner. It's only some, not all items can be scanned. Um, only some items can be, but you can put your you put your item in there. Say we wanted to make uranium ore, so we put uranium ore in there, and it would start the scanning process. It's not particularly fast. Um, you might uh, want to just give it a hand generally with power wise um, especially if your system's a little bit slow to start like this one and when that's finished it's going to store the pattern in it's kind of going to come up with something there and you can move the pattern to storage and that will move it into, into, into here that pattern can then be used to make uh, to make things to make ores or uh, lily pads or whatever you you need it was string you know whatever these buttons down here so you can stop it 
you can do a single run so you say you just wanted one piece of uranium you could just say yep yeah, just do a single run and it will make you a single piece of uranium or you can do a repeat run so it will repeat it until you turn it off or until the inventory is full and then you just stop it with that uh, right now while that is doing that that's making me some going to do is I'm going to put a hopper in here. Now, for some reason it doesn't accept scrap from the top, or it only accepts scrap from the side, so um, there's something to be watchful of. Um, that's fine. Yeah, right. That's going to feed in scrap. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to just throw some redstone into here you have plenty to play with and that's also doing that so let's talk about the plasma launcher shall we uh, it's this one so it's currently a tier 3 device and apparently only does 2 attack damage that is a lie it's a pretty powerful item this is I don't know what you're meant to be using this for, quite frankly, because it's incredibly powerful, as I will now demonstrate. I'm going to just fire it here, and it burns, it starts, sets fire to thing, to anything in its path, it turns sand into glass. Uh, this is not um, a tool to get rid of mobs from inside your house. This is a weapon of pure mass destruction. I have no idea what it would do to... Uh, it doesn't even drop blocks. I have no idea what it would do to... Uh, if you hit someone in uh, quantum armor. Uh, this might be the equivalent of the nano sword. You know, so if you hit someone with one with the nano sword, who's someone who was wearing nano armor with the nano sword it would uh, kill the nano armor it's quite possible that this is uh, designed to be a tool to be used in sort of pvp against uh, quantum armored people i don't know i don't know quite what the uh, what the idea behind this is yet because it doesn't drop blocks and it is incredibly powerful um, so who knows on that score Let's see if we created any anti uh, any UU matter. Uh, none yet. Let me cheat. Let me create. Can I say UU matter cells? That's what I want. Uh, right. We now have lots of UU matter. And uh, what I need to do is create more redstone for that. So we're just going to cook up this, um, finish scanning this by just using redstone for power. I will also be doing something on thermal expansion, um, but we'll just have to see about that because I've got thermal expansion on this build. Don't have that on the server. Um, there's a few other things we don't have on the server yet, but uh, we might be getting some new stuff soon. So, uh, just again with the server, I'll always mention this on these videos. Um, the server is called the Nuke and Turtle and you can just fill out the whitelist on the reddit and um, when the whitelist is updated and if you just follow the instructions you'll get access to this pack on the AT launcher and it's our own custom mod pack so um, yeah and uh, it will have various useful things so it, this will need 6b of UU matter and it will need 200,000 EU and you save it. If you wanted to delete it, you could just hit the other button. But we wanted to save it. So our pattern is uranium ore there. 
So I'm going to say next pattern. So uranium ore. I'm going to do a single run. Does it quite quickly actually? I must say. Well, I mean, this is a. It is quite an expensive item. So uh, you know, just be aware of that. It gathers the EU pretty quickly, but the UU is uh, a bit slower. Um, so while that's doing that, I'll just sleep. Right. How uh, are we doing? It's taking some time. Let me throw in some overclockers. Why not? There we go. Yeah, there we go. All right. That sped it up a little. Um, I don't think there's anything new else new. Let me just have a little bit of a sift through industrial craft to see if there's anything else new that I need to talk about. Oh, I should really just talk about uh, iron scaffolding and scaffolding while well, that's doing that. So let's talk a little bit again about construction foam. So we talked about sea foam before. Oh, what's that thing called? The canning machine. Yeah. Is it that one? I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick that in there. going to stick that in there. We're going to add some water somehow. Uh, basically, uh, never mind. Basically, I showed you uh, showed you um, this before. But uh, if you spray sea foam onto normal scaffold, you get construction foam. If you spray construction foam onto iron scaffolding, you get reinforced stone. So that's how you now make reinforced stone. You spray sea foam onto is this stuff this one. It's sea foam onto iron scaffold will give you construction, uh, we will give you reinforced stone. And then you can put that around your uh, reactors, but uh, saying this now because the uh, some of these items, I think it's the replicator and um, possibly the mass fabricator, one of these. Anyway, some of these items do require um, reinforced stone and reinforced glass as components in, the con their, in their construction. So there we have it. This has now made a single run of uranium ore, which is kind of cool. And that's pretty much industrial craft as it stands at this present time. There have been newer builds since this one. Um, I haven't got it. Got the newer builds on this version yet because, well, there haven't been any sort of major updates that uh, I really need to talk about. I don't think. Let me just have a little bit of a look down. I won't be covering things like plants um, because I think you know a lot of that stuff is it hasn't been recoded yet, but I think it probably will need to uh, have some work done on it from what I've been hearing from uh, blasters. Or oh, um, he's he's probably one of the only guys on the on the server that deals with plants so um, yeah is uh, uh, some of the stuff isn't quite working properly so yeah I think that's everything there's a few new items in here there's sort of new batteries and new ways you make your so instead of making uh, you create small power units for your wrenches and stuff like that um, there's nothing really new to talk about that I can see. No, right. So that's it for me for the moment. Uh, oh, there is the iridium drill as well, which uh, is new. Uh, that's the iridium drill. And, uh, yeah, that's it for me for the moment. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.